my beautiful people how are you guys doing as always i hope you all are doing well please forgive my very unglamorous look today i'm definitely under the weather i've been a little out of it for the past couple of days you know it's that time of year cold flu season is upon us so you know it's trying to catch up to your girl here uh, but i'm fighting it uh, but yeah, you know, I just haven't had much energy <laughs> to do anything and putting on makeup was definitely the last of my concerns. Um, but you know, I rock the natural look most of the time anyway during the week. So it's, it's, it's okay to me. Hopefully it's okay to you guys too. So I definitely wanted to make sure that I recorded this video and got it out to you guys. And the reason for that being is because I wanted to give you a few of my thoughts on this hair that I'm rocking here right now. And I'm actually going to take this out as soon as I finish recording this video. And today is really the only day that I have to do it. So I needed to make sure this video was done ASAP. So I had posted a photo of me wearing this here a couple of weeks back on Instagram. And, you know, it was just my usual selfie. You know how we do with the, you know, we do it for the gram. Um, but yeah, I just posted a photo, not thinking much of it, just showing my hair. And I got such a large response from different people about my hair and I was really completely shocked. Now this is partly due to the fact that there was a few hair pages that had shouted me out. Um, I wish I would have written your names down so I could have gave you a shout out but um, if I remember who they are I would definitely put their Instagram names down below. But there was one particular page that I remembered and I believe the page is Protective Styles and it's a pretty popular page on Instagram and it's just a hair, you know, hair inspiration page that shows a lot of different protective styles that you can do especially for the natural hair woman and yeah they had shouted me out and I got so many compliments and comments and followers and you know people asked me about all these different specs about the hair and then there were quite a few women who were asking me about my experience with the hair and they wanted to know what I thought about the hair so this is what prompted me to do this video so I really didn't think that I would get such a large response and that people would be really interested on my take on what the hair was. So I figured, you know what, let me just come on here and give just a little, you know, pros and cons of what I thought about the hair. So starting off, this hairstyle is crochet braids. Now crochet braids have become pretty popular um, in the past recent years on YouTube and, you know, on Instagram and things like that, especially in the natural hair community. Um, it's definitely, I think, a great protective style to do especially if you're growing out your natural hair and you want to kind of protect your hair but still have this nice, you know, cute hairstyle, I think this is definitely a look to rock. So I've been rocking crochet braids since the summertime, since my bestie put me onto it. Hey, Chief Chief. Um, but yeah, she put me on and I was like, oh, this is it right here, honey. And I knew. I said, yes. Yes. This is going to be my hairstyle forever and ever. So all I did was watch a couple of tutorials on YouTube and saw how easy it was and I was on it. You know, so to me, it's relatively easy to do. It's just that it's time consuming. So if you got some time on your hand, you know, if you're free a weekend, then I definitely think, you know, you can do it as well. So there's definitely quite a few tutorials on how to do crochet braids. So I don't think I necessarily have to do a tutorial. But if you want to see me do one, you know, just let me know in the comments and I'll definitely do that for a future video. But yeah, I'll definitely have the ones that I've watched linked down below. Now onto the actual hair. This hair is by Harlem 125 and it is their Kima or Kima braid, however you want to pronounce it. I will have a picture of the actual packaging and what it actually says on the package down below. So make sure you check it out. But it is in their Brazilian twist. Now I, I don't have the packaging anymore, but this is kind of what the hair looks like very pretty curls i took this out the bag a few times and stuffed it back in so it may be a little frizzy so it was even more popping when it first just came out the package but very pretty nice hair now when i had went to the beauty supply store i had bought five packs but this style hair only required me to use four so i only use four and i used like one or two strands from the fifth pack which is why that one was open um but you didn't need it. It was just like to cover up the space that I saw. But four packs can definitely do all of this. I'm going to give you a few of my pros. Now the first pro is the price. I think I paid $5.99 per pack. So, you know, for five packs, that's about $30. Um, you know, some change. Probably about $32, $33 with tax. Come on, you can't really beat that for some hair. So the second thing that I really liked was the curl pattern. Now this curl pattern... 
um, to me, it was like a kind of a loose wave, but like kind of tight, loose wave that it wasn't really, really loose, but it wasn't really tightly coiled. Um, it, it just has this nice little, nice little wave to it. And I really liked the way it looked. And then when I stalled it, I said, oh, yes, the curl is just laid the way I wanted it to. So the curl pattern definitely got me. The third thing was the color. I got it in the color 33, and I like their 33. It just looked really nice on me. It's kind of like a, a brownish kind of color. When it hits certain lights, it looks kind of reddish. I just really like the color. And, you know, another thing that I really liked about the hair was the fullness that it gave me. Um, this is, you know, all the hair pulled to the front like this so it's definitely a lot of hair um a real lot nice full amount now for some people this may be too full so you can definitely go down a pack three packs could definitely work for you um but for me i like full hair so this was definitely giving me the life that i wanted i've used other brands where i had to use five or six packs just to get a nice fullness so you know this definitely was a good thing to me so I do believe the hair is 20 inches, and for me, I am 5'7", and it hits me pretty much, like, right where my uh, boobies are. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's a nice length. Definitely, that's definitely another pro for me. And I also like that I got a lot of compliments. A lot of people have come up to me in the street and say how much they like my hair, so this hair definitely can turn some heads. So one of the biggest cons would just be that it's synthetic hair. You know, unfortunately, synthetic hair just does not have the life expectancy of human hair, you know, and I and I know that. So I don't expect much from synthetic hair. For me, I've had this hair in for three weeks. So maybe a little over three weeks, like three weeks and three days. And, you know, it definitely doesn't look the way it looked when I first installed it. Now, like I said, I did not know I was going to do this video, so I don't have like a full review because I definitely would have showed you how it looked from the very beginning. Now, I do think I have a picture or two of how it looked like the next day after I installed it. So, if I have that picture, I will insert it. When I first installed it, it just felt so pretty. The curls were really defined. It just looked so fresh and so vibrant. It was just everything. And I was definitely feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling my... I'm sorry, yeah, you know, I was listening to that Nikki and B, you know, Beyonce. She always brings that out of me. Anywho, I want to say about the second week is when it kind of started to, you know, lose some of its definition. And, you know, as the days progressed, um, you may not be able to really see it. But the, the curls do start to, you know, I don't know if you see that. Uh, it does start to clump together a lot. Um, it does get a little tangly. And, you know, you start to have some strands, you know, form its, forming its way out. With with longer hair, you are going to get, you know, a bit more tangling and things like that. So that's definitely what I've been experiencing. I know a lot of times when we put these hairstyles in, we think that we could just put it in and let it go. Um, I do think that this is somewhat of high maintenance, um, being that you have to constantly, you know, make sure you separate the curls, especially starting in the back. Make sure that the curls don't come together. And, uh, yeah, I didn't really do that. So, as far as the matting and any kind of tangling, I won't put all the blame necessarily on the hair. That is partially my fault because, you know, after, like, the first week, I kind of just got really lazy and didn't put my scarf on and just went to sleep and did not care. And it kind of just did its thing on its own. If you're going to rock a hairstyle like this, I do think that, you know, maybe not every night, maybe every other night, but you definitely just want to kind of make sure you keep separating the curls so they won't come together like mine's did. As far as any product, I don't really know of a good product as of yet to put on synthetic hair. Um, I know that there are some girls who mention fabric softener. I've never tried it. I did buy some, but I didn't try it yet. And being that I'm taking it out, I guess I'll try it on my next install. But if you try crochet braids, let me know if you've ever tried fabric softener. You know, let me know in the comments. And if not, if you know of any other product that could be vibe synthetic hair, also, you know, leave that in the comments as well. So I'm still on the hunt trying to find an actual product that may really work well for synthetic hair. Um, I didn't really put too many products on it. Um, it's really just water I use. They do much. 
or there was a spray. I don't know where the spray is, but that didn't really help either. But I mean, it helped a tad bit, you know, it gave it a little shine. Um, but you know, the hair still just wasn't the same to me, you know, after a couple of weeks. So going into the third week, I just knew that I didn't really want to continue rocking it like this, but it's not bad. It's really not bad to me. It still looked pretty okay. Um, just two days ago, I was rocking it and, uh, you know, two women came up to me and was like, oh, you know, I love your hair. And I was like, oh, me? Like this? All right. So people still love it. Being that the new year is approaching, like, tomorrow, um, I want to definitely bring in a new hairstyle, which is why I'm definitely going to take it out. Now, I do think that if you take care of the hair and you, you know, keep it in, in tip-top shape, you know, put your scarves on and... You know, you separate your curls and you if you find a product that really works to help keep the curls popping, then you may be able to expand the life, you know, the lifespan of the hair versus my three weeks. Um, but for me, three weeks is fine. You know, usually I keep it in for only about three to four weeks. I don't go past a month. After a month, I take them out regardless. But I know there's some girls out there who can really make this hair last for quite some time. So if you're one of those women, then this hair can definitely work for you. So with all that being said, I overall enjoyed this hair. I had a pretty good experience with this hair. Like I said, it is synthetic hair, so I don't expect so much greatness with synthetic hair. I do expect for it to last about a month for me, and that's fine for me. And if that's fine for you, if you're a woman who, you know, wants just a quick hairstyle to last for a couple of weeks, then I think this hair definitely works for you. If you like curly hair and you don't mind synthetic hair, I think this works for you. Um, if you like big, full hair, this can work for you. So everyone's going to have different experiences with the hair. Yours may vary from mine. It may be better. It may be worse. It's with trial and error. With anything that you try, it's going to be trial and error. So I hope this little mini review was helpful for someone out there who was, you know, contemplating on buying the hair. I hope that I helped. So this is the end of my video. And this is actually my last video for 2014. I can't believe it. 2015 will be here like this. And I'm excited for it. So I don't really want to go off on a tangent, but I just want to say that I think that 2015 is going to be great, not for just me, but for you. Um, I'm declaring great things for everyone out there. You know, you got to declare it and say that it's yours. So whatever you want to achieve, just go out there and achieve it. 2014 was all about being positive for me. And I think I definitely incorporated that a lot throughout the year. And that's definitely something that I want to continue to take with me in 2015. Just kind of make sure I have a positive outlook on life. We're going to go through our ups and downs. It's just the way it is. But we're always going to bounce back. you got to bounce back and just keep it moving and just continue to have that positive mindset. So if you have a dream or a passion or something like that, you know, go for it. Don't let anyone tell you that you can't go for it, that, you know, your dream is silly or it's not going to happen for you. You know, you're going to go through your bumpy roads. It may not be clear cut. You may go through zigzag lines. Trust me. It's happened to me so many times. But I'm going to keep going and you keep going. You know, we all have dreams. And I want nothing but greatness for everyone. You know, don't ever just let anyone tell you that you can't do it, that you're not good enough, you're not smart enough. You know, you put your mind to it. You focus on that and you do what you got to do. This YouTube thing took me a long time to get here. You know, I've been wanting to do this for years now and I've had people tell me it's not gonna work and what's for and stupid and so many different things to kind of knock me down and there's so many different things that I want to do in the future that people continuously still tell me that oh that's not for you and why would you do that but I'm like you know what I know what I want I know who I am and I'm gonna continue to do me I'm gonna be me and just be happy you're gonna have the naysayers you're gonna have people tell you that you can't do it but you know you always gotta remember that they're gonna say that because it doesn't fit their dream it doesn't fit their reality but that's not your reality your reality is what you make it and if it's not working the way it's supposed to you sit back you stop you think what did i do wrong how can i revise it and you go out again you know sometimes you gotta make a detour sometimes you gotta do different things to make it work but just for everyone to be happy be positive 2015 be ready for you and, you know, January is my birthday month, you know, towards the end of the month. So I'm going to be turning up, turning up. So until my next video, I will see you guys next year. Have a beautiful, safe New Year's Eve. Bye, guys.